He grew up 104th in Normandy. That's not too far from where Reginald Denny was beaten. You might recall that. Uh, his mom wanted him out of that area because she felt that it was gang-ridden, and she wanted him to be in a much more healthy and productive environment. So she moved to a suburb outside of Dallas, Texas. He thrived in Texas academically and also in sports. After he graduated, he enrolled in community college. And then after one semester, he realized he wanted to do something different. He decided to join the U.S. Navy, earned a nickname G.I. Joe, 13 and a half years, successful years as an aviation ma machinist mate. He worked and trained thousands of sailors on a bunch of different types of air aircraft, mm -hmm. including the F-18 Super Hornet, the E-6 Mercury, the MH-60 Seahawk. And with the, with the help of the Navy, he became a licensed professional uh, in finance. As a sailor, he also served during Operation Iraqi Freedom. He is now running for the California 43rd District, currently held by Maxine Waters. His website, JoeCollinsForCongress.com, JoeCollinsForCongress.com. Please welcome back to the show, Joe Collins. All right, <laughs> thanks, Super thanks, Joe, how Larry, are you? It's a pleasure and honor to be on the show with you. Thank you so much. Super Joe, uh, as you know, she has been there forever. What makes you think you can dislodge this person? Well, because a lot of people are really sick of Maxine Waters, to be honest with you. Well, you know this. A lot of people are sick of her, but they needed someone who would run a strong campaign, and they needed someone who they can identify with. And I just don't happen to be that person, especially going up in South Central Los Angeles. Um, you know you know it as well as I know it that you know a lot of people think that this lady was, was God gives to earth. But you've been expressing the discontent and how she has been ineffective as a leader. And you know, a lot of people listen to you, and then when I came out of the military, and I have my issues with Maxine Waters, and I did the same thing. It created a whole whirlwind uh, effect of people starting to see that our community was in ruins and the things that we were going through in South L.A. is not normal. You, you mentioned she does not live in her district. Now, as I understand it, that mansion that she lives in at one time was in her district. She got redistricted, but she never moved. So she does not live in her district. No, she doesn't live in her district. And let me tell you this. That is a very fine house she lives in. That oh, is a man, very I've, seen, fine I've house. seen it, yes. Hancock Park, are and you kidding me? the question that I have is how come the people who live in our community are not living like she is? And, uh, Joe, as you know, she opposes choice in, in education, which uh, urban parents support. Uh, she wants to raise taxes, which hurts the very poor people that she claims she cares about. You know, she, she wants porous borders. Uh, I mentioned earlier the Economist has probably done more work on the impact of legal, Joe, and illegal immigration than any other. Is a Harvard economist named George Borjas, and he says there are winners and losers behind illegal immigration. The big loser are unskilled black and brown workers who, who are losing jobs that they otherwise would hold and whose wages are held down to the tune of almost two grand a year because of the availability of illegal alien labor. Maxine Waters is a, is a pro, a porous, pro-amnesty uh, uh, type Democrat. Yeah, she is, and it's a shame. And uh, she doesn't see it because she doesn't live in our district and she doesn't uh, connect with people. She's so far disconnected from our community that she doesn't see that illegal immigration is hurting the very same people she claimed to be fighting for for 44 years and hasn't won yet. Mm -hmm. talk, to me, talk to me more, Joe, about the district. Uh, what's the p party breakdown? What's the racial breakdown? Well, the, the district is predominantly uh, Latino, being at 46 percent, and then we have 26 uh, percent white, 23 percent uh, black, and we have a 12 percent Asian population, and the, and the rest are mixed. Um, when it comes to uh, the party breakdown, we are a, a D-plus 54, but I think the independent party is rising more than a Republican party because, as you know, in California, they'll fire you from your job and ruin your life if you come out and say that you are Republican and you support Trump. And then the, the majority of the Democrats don't know why they're Democrats. They're Democrats out of uh, tradition and culture instead of, uh, you know, the, the policies that are going to improve their lives. So that's what we're facing right now. Mm -hmm. Joe Collins, is Proposition 16, that's a proposition that would repeal uh, the Proposition 209 that got rid of race-based preferences. Is that a, a big deal? The reason I mentioned that is you said her dis district of 25 percent Asian. Uh, the people that get screwed the most because of race-based preferences mm -hmm. are Asians. Uh, when that proposition mm -hmm. got passed, uh, the percentage of Asians at the more competitive college campuses, UCLA and UC Berkeley, went up uh, because apparently uh, blacks and browns were there with lesser qualifications than the Asians. So they're the ones who got screwed the most. So I'm wondering whether or not uh, that might be an issue where you can at least uh, uh, pair off some of the Asian support that Maxine Waters has previously enjoyed. 
Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Every single bill that is getting passed right now is getting passed uncontested. So any bill that's getting passed um, in, in the state of California is going to hurt one group of people. So like I tell everybody else, what we have to have is balance, which is why it's absolutely important to start voting for someone new. I mean, we can look at the bills that, that's going to repeal, you know, Proposition 209 and replace it with something else that's going to hurt the Asian community. We can look at bills that's going to hurt, you know, uh, private contractors. And, and, and one thing that I can say is, we have too many bills just being rammed through those of people who live in California and the people who actually live in California do not have a voice anymore because we have so many Democrats. Mm -hmm. And so I can say this with impunity. Yes, every single thing that is happening in California is hurting every single person who lives in California who is an American except illegal immigrants. My guest is Joe Collins. He's running against Maxine Waters for California's 43rd District. His website, JoeCollinsForCongress.com. If you want to make a donation, JoeCollinsForCongress.com. Joe, we only have about a minute left. Yesterday, I talked with Eric Early. He was able to get a debate with Adam Schiff. Maxine Waters won't debate you. Yeah, she's not going to debate. We sent a debate request off in, uh, back in September 4th. We sent it registered mail, and I have the receipts right here to show that we sent it. And my suggestion is... Either she's scared to debate me or she cannot read to read the fact that we sent the debate request. So it's one of the two, but we haven't gotten the debate. But she found time to make, uh, to go to the radio and, and try and, you know, her best and trash me without talking about the accomplishments that she's had over the last 44 years sitting in office. So uh, she's not going to debate me. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to debate me either. I've, I've, I've really trashed every single person that she sent to our events to try to intimidate me or debate me. Um, the, the latest victim being Bishop Poulos, uh, with the Baptist, uh, the Baptist Preachers Conference, and he, he's supposed to be the leader of that, and I trashed him on, on, on TV uh, for being ignorant and, and not knowing policy and supporting someone who, uh, who also supports we're, we're Joe, we're Joe Collins, we wish, we wish you Godspeed. Thank you so much for serving your country. The website is JoeCollinsForCongress.com. JoeCollinsForCongress.com. Joe, good luck. Thank you. Thank you.